Hello and welcome back to another episode of Gears Tactics. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing our blind playthrough on insane difficulty. It's time for act number two. And uh, so far, to get you all up to speed, we ran through act number one. It worked reasonably well. Died once at the Rancor, the final boss. But other than that, insane difficulty seems manageable at the moment. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. Maybe it's just getting much, much more difficult. Act 2 certainly has a couple of surprises uh, in stock for us. Tanking stock is uh, the next uh, mission where we will need to control two different zones. Got uh, our tank bent and Mikaela's bent. Uh, so I decided to just bring another... Uh, heavy alongside with Gabe, of course, and our um, our existing heavy plus our existing scout. So let's jump right into the mission and see how well this combination is going to work out. I have no idea what we're up against. Civilians and cog, rookies and vets. Our little army has plenty of friction. If we're going to take out Ukon, we got to learn to work together. That starts here. All right, let's go. Missions all about teamwork. So one Take supply crate, crate and, load the supply and another one. To upgrade our army. Not a hundred percent sure. The last time that we played we it, uh, the mission we didn't die. really start <clears throat> before we actually went into those circles. There is a nice little side gig here. If we hold both of them for two rounds, we're going to be rewarded. So back here, one rare case. I wonder, there's some high ground here and another case. So that here looks like a natural defense position. That whole point looks very well defendable. I'm wondering about the other side, right here. That's another case here, so that's three. It's the end of the map. It looks like they would be coming in from here. So uh, you do have hard cover here and maybe here, but you don't have high high grounds. This here is high ground, but this is the perfect spot for a sniper. Unfortunately, we don't have one with us. <laughs> Anyways, let's try to get the crates first. I hope I don't make a uh, fool out of myself by being okay. greedy now. Okay. So far we haven't spotted anyone. Let's try a two and two defense for now. I'm not sure if this is going to work out. Heavy okay, so that works quite well. Very good. As suggested, nothing is going to happen until we step into those circles. Good. We're moving as far as we can. They're up. And the first enemies are going to join us. Buckle up. Enemy reinforcements inbound. What is that? Boomer. <laughs> what a great name. Devastating grenade launcher and pick up the weapon if you can. Boomer spotted. Coordinate fire and watch his boom shot. Boomer that spotted. Thing Typical cover, uh, thing that practice. someone on the internet would, uh, would say. Alright, let's not yet get into uh, into the circle. I'm on site. Remember, we need to lock down both crates. We got all of the rare cases, which is great. Go ahead. Moving up. Fifty percent hit chance. Yes. Let's see Get if we can pull now. this one off. Moving up into cover. Let's 
Okay, we're grabbing Could be something good. The remaining loot over here. And I would like to start deploying some mines whilst we can. Then I've had decent experiences with mines in the past. They actually work relatively well. Let's start trying to hit this guy. Damn. All right, first shot didn't work out. Second one. Let's pin him there. Missed, but still worked out well. And let's get two Overwatch uh, shots in. One from his AP and one extra because he has that talent. Okay, so far no one is uh, trying to take any supplies. Apparently this guy hasn't moved. Okay, let's start over here because that's the easier side. Planting more of those bad boys. And let's get into full cover. Now hunker down and collect those supplies. Fantastic. We got one more round until we can plant another grenade, so I am wondering where we should do that. Potentially over here. Setting up a perimeter. We're overwatching. So far so good. Okay, and we finally are in range of uh, in range of both of the circles. So from now on, we're yes. collecting those sweet, sweet supplies. Heavy on standby. Got an eighty percent chance to hit him. Let's go for it. Boomers have thick skin. Gonna need to work in sync to bring it down. Nice crit. Down to a thousand five hundred. I still would like to simply overwatch for now. Reporting in. And Diaz here, to be entirely honest, let's use the pistol because that has a higher range. And it's Scanning also overwatch. Now. I don't see a reason why not. Nice, nice, nice. That's working out beautifully. Your victory. Okay, we do have a problem here, Houston. More enemies are coming in. Good. First round collected. At least our grenades just did their job, Time right? To shred some grubs. Scout on standby. Good. Time. Here, cat. Kill this guy. Plant a man, uh, plant a nice little mine over here. Understood. And get back into the zone Heavy into on cover. Standby. Yep. Okay, from his perspective, can we plant another mine? No. Well, his cooldown is way too long, so potentially we're going to lay a few more mines to here. That seemed to have worked reasonably well. And now it's really up to his overwatch to win that. Can't hit both of these guys here. 
Um, this hammer burst will eventually move over. Jack's cloaked. Okay, we need one more turn until we yep. can shift um, actions again. And this here pretty much looks like a one-shot kill. Let's go for it. Boomer neutralized. And you left us a present. Grab that boom shot. Unfortunately, I think I'm forced to reload. Don't see how else we would go about it. Well, we could lock and load, but that seems wasteful given Changing position. the situation. Hey. One thing that we could do, though, is we could actually kill both of these guys. Fire That's down. worth an action. Eliminate. And who knows? Maybe we can hold back the other, the, uh, the other two wretches from the right hand side. Pretty sure we can't hold back the berserker. They're in my sights. Okay, well that worked well. Okay, we he definitely took a shot at us. Now it's our turn. Okay, coordinate the salt. Yes, please. I think Doing we're going good, to Jack. do remote reload. That will automatically reload the heavy as well. And then we're just stay out of trouble Jack. Gonna stay out of trouble moving slightly over only 40% chance to hit him I'm ready we got to deal with the other side first this year out here looks worse and there's another hammer burst thrown over there gosh they got us nicely surrounded here Okay, I'm wondering, this no is poten potentially going to be quite yeah. impactful. Like, we're, we're looking at what exactly? 100% chance to hit, almost 350 damage. Surprisingly, not dealing enough, not really dealing enough damage to, uh, to actually knock him out. The base crit chance is too low. It, it, we would need higher crit chance. I, maybe I'm used to too much to XCOM, but this here is not like giving the same oomph Awaiting orders. that I was now used to. But what we can do... Get after it now. ...is give over actions. That also gives us a 20% damage bonus. Yep. Come on. 
What? The chance is lower to hit. Okay, we're going to go with the pump gun. Running dry. Nice, we got a refund. Heavy on standby. I'm wondering if I'm positioning myself over here. Moving out. I think this here should be out of line of sight. Learn something, you should not throw at the very edge. Should not it's just not worth it. Hundred sixty, ninety-five percent, that's good enough for me. Awaiting orders. Regrets. Not bad. Good, moving Affirmative. back into the circle. I read you. Can we? No, we can't. Good. Eventually moving back into the circle. Go ahead. So back to the situation here. Forty percent hit chance. Not great. But with Anchored, oh, come on. it's a 50% crit chance, a uh, hit chance. There we go, 50-50, pushed him back a bit. And I we feel. get two more overboard shots. That's quite good. <laughs> Let's end our turn. And hope that we can kill both of these guys. Another one down. Okay. All right, we're got some hit home. points back. Keep loading up That's that good. Cargo. And we're continuing to to gain supplies. All right, we're up. I read you. Time, to reload. Time for a reload here. Time for a jack up and hiding. We stay out of trouble, Jack. Time for some more watching. I'm ready. Ready for more. I think we could reload and reasonably try to hold that line. As long as the last Setting enemy is not kill killed, down. no further enemy spawn. So what is the matter here? Out on standby. I would have honestly thought we would get a bit more. You got it. A bit more action so far. I, oh. I'm not complaining and just pointing out that it looks surprisingly calm. Could we plant another grenade? No, we can't. Reload. And given that we're injured, I would like to take full cover. 
Apparently these guys are coming from that direction here. Very nice. Continuously interrupting them. Oh no, another boomer. Your history. Well, at least the grenades actually, or the mines actually worked out really well in our favor. One more turn. We could lock and load this turn. Ready. If we were to deal with this guy. This here is an impactful grenade, a very impactful grenade. The question is, can we get rid or can we deal with with that guy? Now I'm not sure. Here, catch. Not bad. All right. Trying to hit him. And let's hide. That still will give us a waiting order. A chance to to get resources there. It's one of those situations where it definitely feels like a better idea to gracefully retreat instead of just moving in. Jack is helping again Ordered. and hides Jack. afterwards. Gonna reload. Reloading. And then we're continuing our overwatch. On it. I'm ready. One more turn until empower. And we also got lock and load if need be. For now, I think this side here is actually safe and sound. Someone call a medic? Yep, that's decent enough. Got a nice perimeter going. Okay, we got all of the Enemies entrances involved. that we know of covered. They're in my sights. This Berserk is almost down. Come on, move down here into the explosion ra radius. Well, luckily I managed to heal him beforehand. So Just as the mission completed. Solid teamwork, people. This will buy us a much needed upgrade. Prepare for evac. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And we got ourselves so many rare cases on top of that. Mwah. Chef kiss for that vision. Oh, nice. And we even got two more promotions. Fantastic. Even with the optional objective, I couldn't have asked for more. New cosmetic options are available. Okay, we're going to see about those in a second for now. Great chance. Passive skill, heavyweight, focus, accuracy bonus. We got to look into all of these individually. Let's start with Gabe here. Self-repair at the start, unit heals 10% or 10% damage reduction. I think he does not need... I like the self-repair.
The double down is also fantastic, but not for him. He doesn't need 5% extra damage. But there are a couple of good ones. Let's just check our boots with everyone. Sit here. 30 health. I think 20 health and 10% uh, damage reduction are definitely better. Okay, who needs that double down extra damage? I would argue our heavy could massively benefit from it. Currently 10% evasion. Yeah, we're going to take that double down because that'll give us extra damage. Plenty of extra damage. Sniper currently has like what? Yeah, also has a double down, which isn't bad. I mean, it's a good ability. Only gets 3% damage, but that's fine. I wonder to which degree health is going to be meaningful for her. It seems she's super fragile, so I'm not sure if health really makes a difference. Glory. Oh, wait, 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 wait. When this unit executes an enemy, this unit gets a 40% chance to reduce skill cooldown by two turns. Hmm. For her or for the scout, that would be awesome. Let's give it to her because she also does have the chain shot ability. And that is incredibly good what do we have here utility belt yeah okay that's unbeatable it is such a good ability okay good moving on what are our chests by the way fifteen percent critical hit resistance that looks like in item which i actually would like to give to you because you are more vulnerable than our tank and sit already is quite sturdy what is he wearing 30 health 20 health and untraceable would be good for him because then he can move into overwatch shots without immediately falling over Michaela here has what exactly? Blitz. Take a shot. 30% chance. Yeah, that's okay. I like the passive here. But 30% chance to get plus one action. That is rare. Sounds to me like a once in a mission at best. Untraceable is good. 15 health isn't bad. 10% evasion might be good as well. I could see an argument why you would want to have that on her with all of the grenade cooldowns. But for now I will let it slip. 10% evasion I think is better than 15 uh, health but on the other hand the untraceable made it really good because we're often triggering stabilizers yeah I like that good helmets we still don't have enough helmets to go uh, to go around patrol 20% damage for overwatch shots. Um, yeah, I know who wants to have patrol. Focus. Hmm.
what else do we have? We have five percent passive patrol. Um, I wow. I like that Overwatch shot bonus. Plus one ammo is great. The disrupt is fantastic. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Now it's just a question: Do we want to have focus here? Straight up damage, 30 seems like a good idea. So it's 330 right away. The focus is okay, but not great. We have no other grenades other than the stim and the frag grenade. More accuracy. Skill focus. What's that? Start of your turn, 10% critical chance. I wish that that would be, uh, would be working well. The question here is, do we really need four M ammo or are we okay with three ammo? Four was a nice sweet spot. It felt we didn't need to reload that often. Ten percent chance. Ten percent chance for one action. Yeah, that's what has triggered. It's effectively a hair trigger. Hmm. Looks all right to me so far. Forty percent crit damage. Yes. Five percent crit chance. Yes. Unfortunately, no other weapon modifications. And finally, sit over here. Plus one ammo. Seven percent accuracy bonus. Oh yeah, that is great. Cool. He just straight up gets seven percent more accuracy. Just needing a helmet. Is there a shop or anything? Or are we just getting the loot via those crates? Unopened crates, nothing to claim. I'm wondering, say, if we do have a scout here, okay? They do have weapon uh, stuff, right? And if I just Take everything off, get a chest plate. Okay, now, scout to scout, does she get any additional weapon uh, equipment? No, not really, nothing, nothing that is better than uh, what she would already have. Anyways. Let's upgrade her skills. So we, I, I definitely want that demolition expert. Frag grenade, uh, plant ability and proximity mine no longer remove hidden status. That is fantastic. Reduce uh, explosive damage uh, to this unit by 25% is also good. But that only really makes sense when you're invisible, right? Right. When this unit kills an enemy with a shot, Reduce uh, frag throw ability and frag grenade plant ability by one turn. Oh, that's fantastic. That's incredibly good. When the unit uses the cloak skill, get one action. I can see how this becomes also really good because it's essentially free. And then, well, it's a four, con uh, four turns cooldown. Yeah, I can see how, how that allows you to even act yeah more in in the turn so i think we're going to extend the cloak at this point yes and then demolition expert can be done from hidden if we combine that with essentially hiding seems like a really strong case 
but we also want quick swap right and that zapper thing isn't bad either with two actions i'm still and this unit uh, takes shots while it's hidden gets damage bonus finisher is good Kills an enemy with an action intended whilst in hidden. Gets one action. That is great as well, but this here was the good one. First time unit kills an enemy with a critical hit or an execution in a turn, unit gets the hidden status. So that gives you essentially another, um, another hidden turn. Anticipation looks great as well and i wonder if this here can be oh target non-scout okay that can't be us sprint isn't bad either i start liking sprint more and more i am thinking about is there a way to stay permanently invisible Potentially with getting that free cloak ability, right? And then recloaking with escape route. Uh, that is clear. But these abilities here are too good to not use them. Okay. I like the scout. Let's see what the heavy has to offer. So we got two options. Suppressing fire is good uh, but i'm not sure if we really need to upgrade that and the other one when this unit downs or kills an enemy with an overward shot extra movement next turn i like it units overward shot steal 50 percent damage okay well i guess that's a no-brainer that's a passive skill that's a passive skill such a strong tree holy shit um the explosive shot was good at the beginning i am not seeing a lot of enemies cluster up at the moment this here seems like a no-brainer skill as well because it effectively means you can reduce all of your cooldowns every single round by one that might not be a bad idea because we're still getting one shot and the 20 percent damage reduction is good This one here is fine as well. I'm, I'm just wondering, what was, it's a long time, what was the idea of the second uh, skill tree? This here looked great. I think the other one was that explosive shot. Overwatch and essentially explosive shot. Uh, frag grenades from this apply shell shock. Well, that's fine. Uh, that's okay as well, but it seems that these uh, things here are almost better. For, for now, what I'm noticing is the heavy is incredibly strong in the overwatch department. So this tree here is borderline busted. What was uh, this one uh, on kill again one uh, streak status effect okay well that is the comboing tree i remember yeah i'm not sure where to uh, where or how to build afterwards i know that i wanted the explosive shot originally that does not necessarily seem like the best tree at the moment but maybe i'm wrong maybe explosions are the way to go as well so that we do have an alternative for our scout for now these guys here seem like quite capable defenders anyways that's the next mission we're going to and we're going to uh, see about that in the next episode thanks for watching guys if you enjoy the content feel free to leave a comment and a like down below the comments specifically are uh, appreciated because they will uh, trigger the YouTube algorithm and tell the YouTube algorithm that the content is good. Thanks so much and see you in the next episode. Bye bye.